The last origami figure. The last trial. He must be watching me. Save Sean and die. Christ. He loses his father, but at least he's alive. Maybe it's the right thing to do. One hour to live, just enough time to save Sean. He could be lying. Maybe I'll die as soon as I drink this, and then no one can save Sean. There's got to be another way. I can't kill myself to save my son. Poison. So, if I drink this, I'll be dead in an hour, and if I don't, I won't get the last letters. Am I willing to die to save my son? Kill myself to save Sean? That's ridiculous! I'll find some other way. I'm sure I can save him. I'll find you, Sean. I'll figure out a way, and I'll come and get you, son. Several different addresses fit these letters. God, they're scattered all over the city. I don't have time to check them all. I may only have time for one address. If Sean's not there, I'm done. It's a crapshoot.
We've only got a few more hours left to save Sean Mars. There has to be a goddamn clue somewhere. It's probably staring me in the face. This kid's gonna die, and I'm going around in circles! All packed up and ready to go? What are you talking about? The investigation's over. We know who did it. We no longer need your services anymore, Norman. So you can ride your files all the way back to Washington. I'd be lying if I said I was gonna miss you. The investigation isn't over. You have absolutely nothing on Mars. Mars is guilty. Case closed. Anyway, it's no concern of yours now. You're off the case. So pack up and fuck off. Blake, you are an unbalanced, psychopathic asshole. I'll take that as a compliment. Honestly, I don't give a shit what you think. I found the origami killer. Everyone's happy. End of story. Have a nice trip back, Norman. Killer's name is here. Somewhere in this data. I just have to find it. Find it before it's too late. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Harry was in record mode when I was fighting with the killer. Perhaps there's something on it. The watch they give for promotions to lieutenant. The killer is a cop. Looks like the killer is a cop. Carter Blake. That would explain the dead end investigation and his desire to frame Ethan Mars. Two receipts from the same gas station. Might be near the killer's home. Ugh, oh, that doesn't get us anywhere. The killer lives in this zone. 342 people live around there. Not good enough. Gotta find a means of identifying the killer more precisely. The gun the killer left at the Blue Lagoon. Perhaps there's some way of tracing its history.
Impounded in a police case five years ago, the gun is still supposed to be in police custody. Who checked it out? If not a cop. There's always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. There's only one cop in that geo profiling zone. Gotcha. He owns a warehouse on the docks. If I'm wrong, Sean Mars is dead. car at the docks call the SWAT team oh and I'll need a chopper today of course I'll need it today you fucking imbecile
I should have informed the police. But I have no proof. Just the statement of an old woman who's lost her memory. If he's in his apartment, I'll pretend I got the wrong floor. Let's hope he's not home. The killer might be here. I better be careful. The moment of truth. If Ann Shepard gave me the right name, the origami killer lives here. your touch, girl. The origami killer's apartment. There must be something that'll tell me where Sean Myers is. uniform. Always trust a cop. That's why children went with him. He was dressed as a cop. It's a password. Got it. Max. The name John gave to his paper dogs when he was a child. What the hell is that? An address. It's got to be where Sean Mars is. Hurry, there's no time to lose. This is where he cultivated the orchids that he left on the chest of his victims. So you found my little secret? It's over, Scott. All those children killed just to find a father capable of saving his son? Shut up! You don't 
understand. There's one child left. There might still be time to save him. Let him go. Do what your father couldn't do. Don't panic. Just stay calm and think.
I know where Sean is. I've got to tell Ethan. I know where Sean Mars is. No time to call anyone. I'm on my own. I've got to go there. I just can't wait here while the boy might be dying. Looking for a father that would be able to do what mine could not do. Sacrifice himself in order to save his son. <laughs> oh, I searched, searched, searched. And then I remembered. capable of saving his son. Just to find a father? Do you have any idea how it feels to be a worthless nothing in your father's eyes? Believe me, I've suffered. Just as much as my victims. I finished your damn triumph. Now give me back my son. He's there. All you have to do is open that grave.
Tell our order to shoot to kill. I repeat, shoot to kill. Ash, are the snipers in position? Yes, Lieutenant. They're ready on your command. Perfect. He won't get away this time. We'll gun him down as soon as he shows his face. Hey! You there! What are you doing? Lieutenant, my name is Madison Page. I'm a journalist. I have proof that Ethan Mars is innocent. He's not the origami hey, killer. What is a journalist doing here? I thought I told everybody to keep their mouths shut. Now get her out of here. I don't want her getting in the way. Okay, Lieutenant. All right, come on. You're about to make a terrible mistake, Lieutenant. Ethan Mars is innocent. I can prove it. I thought you were gone. Oh, oh. Dad, I, I knew you would come and oh. save me. Oh. Ash, get her out of my face. Mars didn't do it for Christ's sakes. He's innocent. Hey, what are you doing? Sorry I didn't trust you. I was only thinking about Sean, and I thought... That's okay. The only thing that matters is that you saved your son.
general relief this morning when the police announced that they had found Sean Mars alive more than four days after his disappearance. Mars had been imprisoned in a well by the man known as the Origami Killer. The successful resolution of this case was made possible only by the bravery of Ethan Mars, who the police believed at one point to be the killer. It is no doubt due to his great courage and tenacity that he succeeded in foiling the plans of the Origami Killer. The police commissioner presented him with an official apology today. Our main headline today, it is reported that the police have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Scott Shelby, 48, is a former police lieutenant who claimed to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's victims. Despite a citywide manhunt, Shelby has not yet been apprehended. Police are now mounting a nationwide operation in an effort to arrest him. Unfortunately, the investigation has cost the life of Norman Jaden, the FBI profiler working on the case. Jaden was killed while trying to arrest the origami killer in circumstances that remain unclear. A full police investigation is pending. Let's just say a friend of a friend let me jump in line. If we like it, it's ours. Hey, Dad! I think I found my room! Well, what do you think? It's perfect, Ethan. We'll be able to forget what happened. We'll lead a normal life. And one day, it'll all just seem like a bad dream. We've earned the right to be happy now, Ethan. All three of us. He's being buried in two days in some godforsaken hole in the back end of beyond near Washington. I have to attend as a matter of protocol. I'll pass. Jane and I didn't see eye to eye on much. No problem. I understand. Hey, sir. I still have his glasses. What should I do with it? Well, we won't be needing them again. Do whatever you want with them.
None of the families of the victims ever hired you, did they, Scott? I called every last one of them. All you did was collect the evidence you'd left behind. Wipe out your past. And feed on the misery of the parents whose children you've killed. I swore on my son's grave that I would kill the man who murdered him. I'm gonna keep my word. General relief this morning when the police announced that they had found Sean Mars alive more than four days after his disappearance. Mars had been imprisoned in a well by the man known as the Organic Killer. The successful resolution of this case was made possible only by the bravery of Ethan Mars, who the police believed at one point to be the killer. It is no doubt due to his great courage and tenacity that he succeeded in foiling the plans of the Organic Killer. The police commissioner presented him with an official apology today. Our main headline today, it is reported that the police have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Scott Shelby, 48, is a former police lieutenant who claimed to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's victims. Shelby was killed during a massive police operation, but further details have not yet been released to the public. Let's just say a friend of a friend let me jump in line. If we like it, it's ours. Hey, Dad! I think I found my room! Well, what do you think? It's perfect, Ethan. 
We'll be able to forget what happened. We'll lead a normal life. And one day, it'll all just seem like a bad dream. We've earned the right to be happy now, Ethan. All three of us. Today's World Magazine this week, and has been hailed by the whole nation as a new hero for our times. Astonishingly, he almost single-handedly ended the sinister series of killings by the man known as the Origami Killer, and saved the life of young Sean Mars. His determination, courage, and intelligence have won our admiration. Norman Jaden. Good evening. killed my son, Scott. Were you thinking about that when you held me in your arms? I don't know why you did all this. Nothing can justify it anyway. I feel nothing but contempt for you. Nothing but contempt.
Stay back! Don't come near me! Or I'll shoot! 